I mean, after that, he still has a guy who loves the Steelers. It's a franchise. You know, he just, I mean, he's a man of that. He's from That's North. We don't claim him. Down. He's from North Louisiana. That we don't really claim him. Like <laughs> he's from North Louisiana, so we don't claim him. Yeah. Oh, I'll claim him. You're going to claim him? He's very a fool, but I'll claim him. Uh, levels of uh, <laughs> nervousness. It's hit or miss. So depending on which. Uh, talking about Big Ben. Mm. Mm. We'll call to order the City of Douglasville's City Council regular meeting for tonight, which is Monday, January the 10th. We will have our invocation by Reverend Henry Pippins, Jr. of Cornerstone Baptist Church. And after that, the Mayor Pro Tem will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the invocation. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to serve you. We thank you for bringing us into this new year with new opportunities and we ask for your wisdom and guidance and direction as we seek to lead and serve our city and to bring blessings to the people that live in here. We pray your blessings on the leadership that you would give us direction, knowledge, wisdom, and also protection from the evil forces that try to work against us. Bless us tonight in a special way with your understanding so that your people can be blessed. We ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and we thank you. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, for leading us in the pledge. And Reverend Pippins, we appreciate you coming in. House Kumba Coffee doing well. is doing well. <laughs> Good to see you, 06. All right. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, City of Douglasville's regular voting meeting. This is a City Council meeting of agenda items where official action will be taken tonight on the items that were discussed last Thursday at our legislative work session. If the business you're here for is not listed as an agenda item, there will be ample time under the um, agenda item commerce from citizens and delegates section for you to discuss your business. I'll just uh, briefly go over a few protocol issues and then we will get into the meeting. I would ask that you would please keep your comments on a professional level dealing with the facts that are important for this governing body to make our decision. We will not accept comments that are considered by the chair to be of a personal attack on any individual or group of individuals. You will receive a warning, and if you deviate from that warning for the second time, it will result in you not continuing uh, to speak to us this evening. We'll turn your microphone off. Um, one person speaking at a time, please. Uh, please do not applaud, react to speakers, speak from the audience, cheer, carry on conversations with the audience, or be disruptive in any way during the meeting. I'll remind you that we're only required to accept public comments on zoning matters and public hearings. If you have a cell phone or any electronic device, please put those in silent mode or turn those off until after the meeting so they will not be disruptive. Now this is how the agenda items will be handled. The committee chairperson will read the agenda item, then that person representing that agenda item or applicant will make his or her presentation. Uh, we will possibly ask questions if we need some clarifying questions or new information from last Thursday. Um, there is a maximum of 20 minutes for those in favor of the item and 20 minutes for those in opposition, and each person has five minutes to speak. The chairperson will call you forward, and then at that time, you'll come to the podium, give us your name and address for the record, and you have five minutes to address us. 
After that, each person has only one opportunity, of course, to, to talk with us. This is not a debate format or question and answer. We're just here to hear the information, deliberate, and make our decisions. We'll take everything that you have to say under advisement as we uh, vote. And please address all of your comments to the chair, not speaking to the audience or speaking to other uh, members from, uh, that are in the staff, staff members or people in the, in the audience. If the information is repetitive, we ask that you not repeat what you've already said or what someone else has said. Just bring new information to us, clarifying information that was not um, presented on last Thursday. And lastly, if you have printed materials, we ask that you would please give those printed materials to our very able city clerk, Ms. Vicki Acker, to my rear um, on the left-hand side, and she will make copies and distribute that information to us. Now that is a lot of talking and a lot of information, but I hope that you all have received everything or understood what I, the directions or directives I've given and that we can move on with the meeting. So we do have agendas and they are printed out on the desk if you'd like to have one of those agendas and or you can follow us on the screen. So we'll move on now. This is our regular meeting. So we will uh, go to the minutes. It's, we're on uh, item number five. Minutes of the Legislative Work Session and Executive Session of December 16th, 2021, and the regular meeting and executive session of December 20th, 2021. I open the floor for a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Thank you so much, Councilman Esses. I have a motion to approve the minutes. Um, do we have any corrections or deletions or anything that Council members see as far as the minutes are concerned? I don't see any. All those in favor of approving the minutes, please say aye. Point of order, Madam Mayor. Oh, okay. Do we have a second? Oh, I apologize. I'm going fast. I'm thinking about the game. Okay, <laughs> Councilman Estes made the motion. Do we have a second, please? I went ahead and hit the button, so. Oh, second. <laughs> Councilman Miller in. You don't have the minutes? Okay, let me see. You can't, you can't vote. Oh, you can't vote. So we'll have to do hand. Can you see us, Ms. Acker? Okay. Let me put my eyes on so I can see you. Okay, so we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll take the second. Okay, Mayor Pro Tem is second. We have any corrections, deletions, any concerns about the minutes from council members? I don't see any. All those in favor of approving the minutes, please raise your hands. You have it, Ms. Acker? All those opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes are unanimously <coughs> approved. So we'll move on. Now, do we have the... Mr. Jenkins, are we up to speed with the technology? Yes. We don't have the voting icon. Right? Yes. Everyone have it or just Ms. I, I, I voted. I voted. Okay. I have. Ms. Miller doesn't have it. Council Member Miller in. <laughs> She's special. It's okay. <laughs> well, you weren't here the other day when we took away your... <laughs> She'll get it together. It isn't your fault. It's, the, it's not the user. It's the technology. Okay. <laughs> As my kids always say, it's you, Mom. So we'll move on then to item number seven, Economic Development Committee. That's chaired by Mayor Pro Tem Terry Miller. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have no business under the Economic Development Committee at this time, but I think you do want to go back to the consent agenda. Consent agenda. agenda. Yes, sir. That was number seven. So number six. We have the consent agenda. I'll open the floor for a motion to, uh, to approve the consent agenda as presented. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been properly moved and second to approve the consent agenda as presented. Uh, do we have any questions or concerns? Councilmember Miller in? Okay. <laughs> any other concerns about the consent agenda? All those in favor of approving the consent agenda, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The eyes have it. Is your icon working now? Okay, great. So we've already done um, item number seven. We'll do item eight, Finance Committee, chaired by Council Member Mark Adams. No business tonight, Madam Mayor and Finance. Thank you so much, sir. We'll move on then to the next committee, which is item number nine, Housing and uh, Community Affairs Committee. I'll ask Mayor Pro Tem if you please take that committee. Thank you, Madam Mayor. There's no business under the Housing and Community Affairs Committee at this time. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. We'll move on then to Legislative and Intergovernmental Committee, 
Chaired by Councilmember Samuel Davis. Yes, ma'am. Madam Mayor, I have a couple items. Uh -huh. Item A, uh, adopt an ordinance. Uh, the uh, voting just got in, my, got in my way. Adopt the ordinance to amend the charter of the city of Douglasville to revise in the corporate limit and ward maps based on 2020 U.S. The Sentinel Sentinel's first enactment. Ms. Hampton or Ms. Woodward? Ms. Woodward? Thank you, Councilman Davis. Um, we have updates from our report last Thursday. Um, this is a rather big item. I'm not sure you can pull it up your iPad. But um, Councilman Miller had requested that um, Arbor, Arbor Station area remain in Ward 1 and we were able to comply with that request. There was no impact on the population because that little um, area that we, in version two, we were trying to um, redraw it into war for that didn't have any op uh, population in there. Um, our graduate fellow also compiled a list of federal and state representatives for the city of Douglasville. Um, you will be able to see that. And the maps that we have updated in the system, um, we have a proposed map, a um, comparison map, and all the individual ward maps as well. And you, can, you should be able to, to um, zoom in and look at the boundaries where, um, which streets uh, delineates those boundaries. And you should also be able to see the House District and Senate District uh, in each of those wards. If you have any questions, please let me know at this time, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, any questions for Ms. Woodruff? Well, uh, Mr. Chairman, I guess I'm looking at the map. It's not sinking in. Is Ward 4 shrunk, uh, or is it? the same population wise it should now be balanced however the way we balanced it was we had to draw the chapel hills golf club area into ward one that's where the clubhouse that area where the clubhouse is um, Hmm. Looks like most of the golf course got in there, and is that the Stewart I Creek see, area I, as well? I see Golf Ridge Boulevard. That looks like it's still in Ward 4, but right next to it, I don't know. I just... um, right. Maybe there's, you there's, maybe there's, may need to meet with Ms. Woodward individually so she can show you how it's drawn. If you don't understand it. Yeah. There was kind of a, a little anomalous looking area there. Cause if you look at the Stewart Mill, or sorry, the, is it Stewart Creek in Chapel Hill? It looks like it, the ward boundary now goes down the main street through there so that everyone living on the one side of the street will be in ward four. The other people on the other side of the street will be in ward one. Mm. Anyone else? City Manager? Councilman Davis, do you all want more time on this for the next meeting? Yes. We can move the lines, but as you know, once we move the lines in one direction, it'll shift it uh, right. to another location. So if there are specific things that you need, my recommendation or that you're, you're questioning, my recommendation would be that you get with Ms. Woodward this, tonight so we can get with our GIS coordinator to make those adjustments if we can. Um, remember, it's about the balancing of the population. Um, and if uh, you want to um, consider tabling this until your meeting on Thursday and your following meeting on Tuesday, we can do that. Do we have a deadline on to get this done by? Ms. Woodward, do you have those dates in which we need to move forward on this? Um, technically, we are trying to um, we are trying to coordinate with the county. That is the only deadline we have. However, the county's uh, 
school board, they are still in the process of redrawing their own districts so that we, sh we don't have a firm deadline for this. The, the drop dead date would be before the next election. That's what I was just going, getting ready to say. The county, uh, they do have elections this cycle uh -huh. for commissioners. And so at least two of the commissioners are, have city limit um, in their, mm -hmm. in now, their districts that they're, moving, they're, they're running for. So I think their primary is in March. As a general point of information in drawing precincts and wards, streets, railroads, rivers, things like that are the generally preferred boundary lines as opposed to drawing a ward, say, through the middle of a neighborhood, mm -hmm. going through the middle of somebody's house or lot lines. So you're probably going to see some, uh, you're probably going to see some streets in pretty much any map you draw as a proposed dividing line. Mm -hmm where somebody on the left side is voting one place, the, the, right. the guy across yeah. the street is voting in another ward. So don't, don't be surprised if you see no, that. I, I understand what you're saying. The only thing I spotted, it was just, there was, it just seemed a little anomalous. In the Stewart Mill, Stewart Creek subdivision, the line is going to go down the middle of the street that goes through there, but everybody, which is about like, looks like about 80, 90 percent of the people who live in that subdivision will be in Ward 1, but only the people on that side, on the north side of that street will be in Ward 4, and they'll be cut off from the rest of Ward 4. They're not even, there's no way to get from, you know, directly from that part of the ward to any other part of the ward. It's just, I just thought it was just looked like it, you, you, we created a little island of a, of a small number of people there. I'm, other than that, I'm, I'm fine with the map the way it's drawn. I don't have a problem with it. I just thought that was an odd little anomaly to have there. Well, my, my only other point of advice is every time we change the map, look to make sure you're still in your same ward. <laughs> and, I'm, and we have to keep the numbers as the city manager has said we need 5,000 people per ward and we have two super wards so with 35,000 people in five wards we have to keep each ward with about 5,000 people anyone else before we vote on it well, we're, we're on Councilman Adams we if, it's at your pleasure if you want to for those who have specific questions we can go two more weeks if there's no rush, I would just take a look at myself. That would be my, my wish, just so I have a little bit more time. Because this is the first time I've seen it clear uh, with the streets. And I probably will change anything, delaying it, but I just would like no, to ask a few questions. I would feel advised to see this before we do that. For those that's unsure, we, we do have a time limit. Um, so, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm just having an issue with loading all of these various pages and, and having them show up on this small screen to where I can read it. So I would, I would respectfully ask that we table it, if that's okay. possible, um, in order to try to look at it in a little larger setting, maybe at least on someone's computer screen where you can focus it and make sure that, uh, as Mayor Pro Tem has said, we at least have everyone in the same neighborhood and that I can advise that I'm in the right ward and won't be out of the ward when it's adopted. <laughs> Madam Mayor. That's all. Thank you. I did, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your patience. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be old school like the chief said today when he presented to the Rotary Club. I need a paper map. I mm. want to pull the map out and look at the map. We can have that. That would be great. But the, uh, we will put those in your boxes um, in order to get, we're going to say, give us to the end of the week. Okay. okay. Get those in your boxes. That's fine. And, and what are what are our dates, City Manager? I'm trying to look for the my 13th calendar. Thirteenth and the eighteenth. Okay. Okay, Madam Mayor, with the Council pleasure, I will uh, table this to the next round of meetings. Second. All in favor. Wait, Aye. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> it's been probably moved in second. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's been probably moved in second to table item thirteen, uh, twenty-one dash five ninety-five to the meetings of. January 13th and uh, 18th, 2022. Do we have any additional comments or questions as it relates to this item? Not seeing any. All those in favor of tabling item A to the meetings of January 13th and 18th, 2022, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Um, item 21-595 is tabled to the 13th and 18th of January, 2022. Okay, moving right along to item B. 
authorize the payment of expense for registration costs and a reasonable travel expense for the Mayor Pro Tem, Terry Miller, Councilman Sam Davis, and Councilman Howard Estes to attend the National League of City 2022 Congressional City Conference, CCC in Washington, D.C. on March 14th through the 16th, 2022, and the amount consists with those established in administration ordinance for pre-approved training. Uh, Ms. Catlin, can you come, please? Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Good evening. Uh, Karen Callen, Finance Director, CC 695 Church Street. Just a small point I wanted to bring up. We sent out the uh, travel budgets this weekend, and under uh, Councilman uh, Terry Miller's budget footnote, there was an incorrect statement. It said um, Councilman Miller's original budget was 8,000, and being, it increased to 9,483 for the attending the DC fly-in, but it was actually the Douglas County Chamber leadership strategy. So I just wanted to make sure that if you caught that, to know that that description was incorrect and it should be for the Douglas County Chamber leadership strategy. And we'll be sending out these travel reports uh, monthly as well. Any other questions or comments on that? Madam Mayor. I don't have any comments. I, I'm still, the question was raised at our work session. Was I, I'm going to attend the conference. I'm still um, deliberating to make a determination about, you know, the conference looking at Omicron and all of that. I do have to travel a couple of other places in the, this winter, so I'm not certain. But I'll follow up with you. I'll let you know in the next, uh, the next round of meetings. Okay, Madam Mayor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I guess I just wanted to clarify something. I thought, and, and maybe this is incorrect, I thought usually this particular uh, conference, we the mayor goes to, and if she can't go, someone or whoever goes in her stead. Is, no. is that not the case now? Um, no, it's not the no. case for this one. This okay. is actually one that the mayor um, has uh, the ability to go to without approval. So sometimes she has sent someone on her behalf, but there are times when I think two or three of you all have gone to this conference um, without going in the mayor's presence. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The last time I, the mayor pro tem went in my stead because I couldn't attend, but I think Councilman Adams has um, historically attended the conference. And I was only reporting to you all, I know I have approval already, but I was just gonna report to you all to let you know if someone wanted to go in my stead to use the um, allocated budget item finances from my budget, so it would have to come out of your budget. The last National League of City, uh, Councilman Miller and uh, Councilman Davis attended was in LA, so uh, this is in DC, and one member that wanted to go, we gotta see Madam City Manager and uh, Vicki. So these funds come out of their budget? Out of yes. our budget. Yes, sir, unless they're representing me, then I take it out of my budget. Okay, uh, Councilman Adams. Mr. Chairman, so so I'll just piggyback on what Coach Watts had mentioned. So there would then be a total, if the mayor decides to go, there would then be a total of four going? Yes. Is that yes. correct? That is correct. Okay, I was under the impression that the mayor was not planning to attend, and therefore there were others going in her stead, as she had mentioned, Councilman Miller had done in times past. So that's not the case this time. You're using your own travel budgets. You're not having money transferred in from hers. Right. Using your own travel budgets, and you are within your budget to do that. Uh, yes, sir. Without having uh, to borrow, borrow, borrowing from another, or having another give up part of theirs. Okay, thank you. Okay, I make a motion we approve, Madam Mayor. Uh, is there any more, any more comments? Okay. Okay, we have a motion to approve by the chairman. Um, item 21-604, is there a second, please? Second. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. It's been properly moved and second to approve item 21-604. Do we have any additional comments or questions from council members? I don't see any. All those in favor of approving this item, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. 21-604 is unanimously approved. That's all I have, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. We'll move on then to personnel organization and uh, the personal organization committee chaired by Council Member Chris Watts. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have no business tonight on the personnel and the organization. Thank you so much, Coach. 
We'll move on then to Planning and Development Committee. That's chaired by Council Member Mark Adams. Thank you, Madam Mayor. You're welcome. Uh, we have one item tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, item A would make a motion to remove from the table item 21-508. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion to remove item 21-508 from the table. Is there a second, please? Second. Thank you so much, Councilman Estes. It's been properly moved and second to remove item 21-508 from the table. Do we have any additional comments or questions as it relates to this item? I don't see any. All of those in favor of approving this item to remove item 21-508 from the table, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. This item is removed from the table. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, B, tabled from December 20th, 2021, Hold a public hearing and consider a request for one, a variance to reduce the required 15 foot side yard principal structure setback in section 4.08B of the Unified Development Ordinance for a variance of 12 feet for remaining requirement of three feet on the east and west side of a lot and two, a variance to allow paving within the required 10 foot landscape strip setback in section 8.02E6A of the Unified Development Ordinance on the east, west, and north sides of a lot of 1.043 acres at 5621 Fairburn Road, land lot 52, District 1, Section 5, Parcel 18. Application by Integrity Construction, care of Ali V. Yago. Mr. Anderson. Ryan Anderson, 6701 Church Street. Uh, staff doesn't have any new information. And I understand um, Mr. Anderson, that the uh, applicant had requested that this be withdrawn and therefore we would take no action on it at this time. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, that was the information we were given on Thursday. So we will take no action on this item tonight uh, as the uh, applicant has withdrawn his application. Thank you, Madam Mayor. That's all that we have. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, Mr. Anderson, for coming all the way in to say they withdraw the application. We appreciate your uh, due diligence and your um, Commitment. We'll move on to item 13, Public Improvement and Beautification Committee. That's chaired by Councilmember Nicole Miller. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have no business. Thank you, ma'am. Public Relations Committee, chaired by Councilmember Howard Estes. Thank you, Madam Mayor. The Public Relations Committee has no business this evening. Thank you, sir. I can't determine whether it's Alabama and Georgia or it's just, okay. We'll move on to the, okay. Public Safety Committee. That's chaired by Councilmember Samuel Davis. Yes, ma'am. Madam Mayor, I have a couple of items in okay. item A, and uh, I would like the app to come down and uh, to hold a uh, hearing, considering a <coughs> request for the alcoholic beverage license for the on-premise sale and consumption of spirit come. liquor at the following location. Proposed license, Caribbean Kitchen Bar Grill, LLC, DBA Caribbean Kitchen Bar and Grill, location 6002 Fabian Road. Proposed Asia Outlet Manager Junior Sankster, the required fees have been paid into the Finance Department. How are you? State your name you and doing? address for the record, please, sir. Um, my name is Junior Sankster, um, 6002 uh, Fairburn Road. Mr. Sankster, last week when you was here, and uh, I was just apologizing for all the construction. I forgot to ask you. Uh, um, how do you go about training your employees for alcohol service? Okay, um, first they have to have a, a permit for serving alcohol and they have to be already established themselves in serving alcohol. You have some, some kind of company come in to teach? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Mayor and Council, before we hold our public hearing. Okay, Madam Mayor. I did have a question. Thank you so much for the, our police department. Have we had any concerns in this location of the Caribbean um, kitchen bar and grill? No, ma'am. Thank you so much, Councilman. Okay, Councilman Adam. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Sangster, do you have any experience in the past in your years uh, in the restaurant business uh, in serving alcohol? No, sir. You do not. So this will be your first, your first endeavor into alcohol sales. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you familiar with the ordinances and requirements that our chairman has mentioned as to the requirements for ID and so forth? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, 
Okay, we thank you again for your patience. That's all that I have, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Before we hold the public hearing. At this time, Mr. Uh, Sexton, we have to hold another public hearing. And uh, at this time, we're going to open up the floor for those that's in favor of the alcohol license to uh, come on down. And uh, you have five minutes uh, to speak for this, this item. Okay, and for those, we have five minutes for those who wish to speak against this item. Since we have no takers, we'll close the public hearing. And Madam Mayor, I make a motion that we approve 21-605. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Thank you so much, Councilman Estes. It's been properly moved and uh, second to approve item 21-605. Do we have any additional comments or questions from the elected body? I don't see any. All those in favor of approving this item, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. 21-605 is unanimously approved. Congratulations. Thank you. And You're thank welcome. you, sir. And uh, look for the updates from the city about the road. I appreciate condition. it. Thank you all. all right, thank Be you. blessed. Thank you. Good evening. Okay, the second item, mm -hmm. item B, hold a public hearing to cut could consider a request for the change in age outlet manager for the alcohol and beverage license for the retail sale and wine and malt beverage at the following establishment. Current licensee, the Kroger Company, DBA, Kroger, number 376, location 630 Thornton Road. Current agent outlet manager, Joel Chambers, and the proposed agent outlet manager, Christopher Berhaldi. The required fees have been paid into the finance department when Mr. Christopher Berhaldi come down. Good yeah, evening, so Christopher. State your name and uh, address for the record, please, sir. Absolutely. Name's uh, Christopher Paul Bartoldi. Address is 71 Corey Drive, Noonan, Georgia. How are you doing this afternoon? Doing outstanding. How are you? Fine. Uh, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked the other applicant. Yeah. applicant. How do you go about training your employees? Crow is big on alcohol sales. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, so we do have a comprehensive training program uh, for all new hired cashiers. Uh, they're not allowed to go onto the sales floor without having completed uh, all the requirements for their ability to sell, um, as well as we have uh, yearly retraining, especially during the uh, most busy time of year, which is going into the holiday. Um, so every, every associate that has the ability to sell alcohol to uh, any of our customers is retrained minimum time once a year. Oh, okay. Mayor? Council. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Um, Davis. Same question for our uh, police department. Any infractions? No, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Anyone else before we hold a public hearing? I know we had a public hearing on Thursday. We have to do it all over again. Yes, Because sir. someone may have something to have five minutes to speak in favor of Kroger having an uh, alcohol license. And this time we'll open up the uh, floor for the public hearing. Five minutes to speak for. Since we have no takers, five minutes to speak against. Since we have no takers, we'll close the public hearing. And Madam Mayor, I make a motion mm -hmm. that we approve 21-606. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Thank you so much, Councilman Estes. It's been properly moved by the chair, <coughs> Councilman Davis, and second by Councilmember Estes to approve item 21-606. Do we have any additional comments or questions from the elected body? I don't see any. All those in favor of approving this item, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <coughs> the ayes have it. 21-606 is unanimously approved. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. And continue to do good work. We absolutely will appreciate y'all. Yes, thank you. That's all I have, Madam Mayor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We'll move on then to item number 16, which is Recreation, Culture, and Tourism Committee, and that's chaired by Councilmember Chris Watts. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, we have no business tonight in uh, Recreation, tur Culture, and Tourism. Thank you so much, Councilman Watts. Technology Committee, chaired by Councilmember Mayor Pro Tem Terry Miller. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have no business under the Technology Committee at this time. Thank you, sir. 
uh, Transportation Committee, the vice chair is Council Member uh, Mayor Pro Tem Terry Miller. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have mm -hmm. one item under the Transportation Committee tonight, and that is to <clears throat> adopt a resolution approving a projects list for the city's application for the GDOT 2022 LMIG grant, mm -hmm. authorize the application to be submitted, and authorize the mayor to sign the local government certification and affidavit in connection with that application. Looks like Mr. Roberts is not here. Are you Mr. Going to take Roberts that is manager? online if you all have oh. any questions via Zoom to speak, but okay. um, um, you all saw the list of streets. We also sent uh, the paving list to you also. If you don't have any questions, we're ready for you to take action on the item. Okay. Are there any questions regarding the matter? No. Okay. Not seeing any, then I will uh, make a motion that we place item 21-607 in the form of motion for approval. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. We have a motion for approval. Is there a second? Second. Thank you so much, Councilman Adams. It's been properly moved and second to approve item 21-607. Do we have any additional comments or questions as it relates to this item? I don't see any. It's good to, uh, that you're on the line, Mr. Gregg. Um, not hearing any uh, concerns. All those in favor of approving this item, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. 21-607 is unanimously approved. Well, that is all we have under the Transportation Committee at this time, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking that committee for uh, the Vice Chair, um, for the Chair, Mr. Vice Chair. Do we have any other business to come before us this evening? from the elected body. I don't see any, we'll do updates from city staff, our city attorney, Mr. Joel Dotson. No business, Madam Mayor. Thank you, sir. Our staff attorney, Ms. Lynn Woodward. <laughs> You're a bowl bowl. Um, the police department. Thank no you. business tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much, Captain Stafford. Uh, city manager, Ms. Marsha Hampton. Nothing, just go dogs to those who are ready to get out of here. I know. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I think motion. somebody wanted me to say roll tide. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Comments from citizens and delegates, if you sustain the meeting and you'd like to address us, please come forward and give us your name and address for the record. And you have five minutes to talk to us about any business germane to the city of Douglasville or potential business. As Councilman Davis says, I don't see any takers. <laughs> um, <laughs> do we have an executive session still scheduled? Okay, we've taken care of that during the committee meetings. So if we don't have any other business before us this evening, this meeting uh, is adjourned. Go dogs.